Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Demartini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show is coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hi, this is Jason and Patricia of the Ecosystem Approach, and we're sitting in for Dr. Pat today. And uh, thank you, Dr. Pat, for giving us this opportunity. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. You know, today, we're going to tell you some stories about what led us to create the ecosystem approach and how we've rejected many common ways that intuitives work. So, um, and we're also going to talk about the future of intuition in the age of Aquarius. So, Jason, since I'm talking right now, I'm going to ask the questions. Um, you know, uh, you get started with the first story, and and but wait a minute, why are we talking about all this today? You know, we wanted to give the audience a perspective. Here we are, intuitives, and and um, we're married. We're married, yes. And so, so how did we? How do we get here? How did we? Right. Um, do how do we create the business that we have? Right. And um, what have been some of our experiences along the way? Okay. And I think a lot of people find that really fascinating. Yeah. You know, and you know, talking about what it's like to be a couple that's intuitive. Yeah. People think that that we that we that we argue in silence, like you know. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I'd, I'd like to. Do. No, I don't argue in silence. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's you just it's chat high with high volume. You yes. chat with passion. Let's, let's yeah. use that pa- <laughs> passionate chat. I love yeah. that. I love that. You know. <laughs> so, Jason, but go she ahead. has, she does have these looks, like you know, I'm, I'm, you know, and, and she'll boom. You and know. He, he calls that "I'm given in the eye," and um, you know, the face, the face. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> but that has nothing to do with intuition, because I'm sure a lot of couples have the same thing. You know? Yeah, and 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 by the way, I'm the quiet one. Every, everybody <laughs> at um, uh, Transformation Talk Radio thinks I'm the quiet one yeah there's a fake news banner going on <laughs> right now you know betty's putting that up right now yeah but you just a quiet one yeah. wait a minute no no <laughs> so so let me tell you the first story okay. okay when i first found out you know i'd always you know my mother said i was sensitive and i was i could feel okay. other people's emotions right but i usually turned them on myself like i did something sure. wrong sure so that's why that person is feeling that way Oh, you know, so oh, it never, and there wasn't anybody around to correct that thinking. It, it was, it was, it was, it was oblivious to me. I was oblivious to okay, it. Okay, okay, sure. And and what happened was, I I was starting talking about spiritual things with um, my boss where I used to work. It was at an art college, and she um, confided to me that that like two, three, four times a year she'd go to a clairvoyant. Okay. And um, I said, well, next time you go, take me with. Yeah. And I went. And I remember she used the, um, um, she, she did a tarot spread and she did the high priestess. And that was, she was telling me about my intuition ah. and it just sparked something in me. And I started using it and that was very, very helpful to me. However, yeah. we went back th- um, three or four times. Mm-hmm. Nothing was of value. I can't remember anything that she said. She, she gave us a lot of things about the future and possibilities coming at us and all okay. that stuff. us or, you know, me personally, right. Nothing, it, nothing worked. And, okay. we, you know, right now using the ecosystem approach, we always say we don't predict the future because it can't be predicted because we have the ability to change in a heartbeat. Exactly. We free have will. choice. We That's have free exactly will. right. And we talked all about that in our last show. So if you want to listen, yeah. um, go to our website, the ecosystem Okay. Um, on Facebook and it's all there. So, okay. um, uh, but anyway, so it it didn't help me, mm-hmm. and you know, in the beginning, I was really um, 
following the rules following the rules but i was amazed it, it, it felt really neat it was oh, very oh i it see was about using impo- yeah. your intuition yes Got exactly it. i Got mean it. it was this this really opened something up for me and it was of how okay okay but um and and when we started when i started um, creating the ecosystem approach i intuitively knew all the tools that i had i i had already studied some of them they were right there in front of me what i just they? i just knew what they were okay you know the enneagram um personality typing system was one okay. astrology was one okay and i had studied these before right but i knew that they were going to be useful for great this. great tools and by the way we use them yes I, I mean i use them in every session that i have and in fact i even use them to see what's wrong if i'm struggling with something I will look and see. Well, and, and I'll you I use that for myself. That's our point is that yeah. we um we 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 take our own advice. Yeah, we we use the ecosystem approach for for ourselves individually every day and um each other yes. and our relationship. Yeah. So so okay, so um we went to a lot of um psychics, clairvoyance, mediums and you know, now in hindsight, nothing was of real value other than the one saying the one that yeah, you're give me a nudge that I needed. And mm-hmm. and the reason I needed the nudge because I wasn't listening. I didn't have the the abilities that I do or the now. understanding about listening. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, uh, Patricia and I have, you know, when uh remember when I think I think it was I, I it was when I asked you to marry me. I was we were <laughs> we were in Monterey yes. and there was a storefront, um it was a psychic or something and we went in. Oh yeah, we did. We yeah, did. And and she had she had abilities. We could see that she had um, extraordinary abilities, but she had no, and we're going to be talking about this a lot, evolve, what we call evolved consciousness. In other words, she had no framework to put that knowing, right. you know, in a, in a perspective that allowed her to understand the big picture and how it all fits in. And, and she, and one of the things that I found, because when we left, I remember um, thinking that, that, um, we saw the big picture and what she said went here, 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 and here, yeah. that kind of thing. Yes. And yet I don't remember her saying a whole bunch. It wasn't. And yeah. I, I remember she was bored and didn't, didn't really like her job at the time, but that's, <laughs> you know, I was reading her and that wasn't really, you know, yeah, exactly. we were the one exactly. that was paying for. So, you know, it's just, um, it's important because it was part of what we tried to find out. It says, okay, what can we do when we first got together? Right, right. We, we right, both right. knew we had intuition, and we started, you know, we started um, developing it with the ecosystem approach. Right. How can we make this valuable? Right. How can we make it e- even better? You know, um, I mean, we know all this. How do we make it better? And that's really how the ecosystem approach really got started. Well, one of the things that happened, and this is it's out of sync here from the, uh, the our story, but people would come back to us after two, oh, three, four, five years, exactly, and say. We we did in the in the beginning we used to do what called an initial profile, which is sort of like a reading. We don't like to use that word, but it's um, initial profile about who they were and what and, I saw and, and what and, we saw and their and their qualities and their not qualities things, things that like they're going to have problems with yes. things you know that sort yes. of thing. Yes, yes. People would come back to us and because we recorded it, they'd come back to us three, four, five years and say, "Oh my gosh, I listened to it again." And I and didn't believe you in the beginning. I didn't, be- and that's that's they that's say the- that. Most of the time they say, I didn't believe you in the beginning. Right, right, right. And then they say, oh my gosh, you were right on. But yeah. here's the thing. Okay. Now, if you're listening right now, this is this is one of the main points. Benny, you got this? Here's this one of the main points. Got it. It's not about intuition. We saw that it wasn't about what we saw, it, what was really valuable. And a lot of these people who came back to us um, missed this part. It's that working with the energy. Because we've had clients who, meaning the energy, the negative energy, removing the blocks. Exactly. If you understand that intuition is, you know, when we use our intuition, we go into the non-physical dimension. This what people call the spiritual dimension, right. another dimension. Sure. You know, um, and intuition like a flashlight in the dark. Yeah. When you're programmed. This area, this other dimension is completely well, black. It's it, it's it's like the lights are turned out. Exactly. And when we have intuition we have the ability to see where we're going. Yes. And, yes. and, and that's we have a beneficial. really good flashlight. Yes. 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 The more intuition you have, the better flashlight. Right. Patricia's flashlight is very specific. She can see a lot of the details. Right. I've got more of a floodlight because I see the big, big picture. picture. Yeah. Um, and by the way, it's a big floodlight. Yeah, everybody. It's a big yeah. floodlight. But 
that's not the most important. Okay. It's working with the energy day mm -hmm. in and day out, right. which is what we do with the ecosystem approach. Exactly. And, you know, it's the, one of the biggest benefits of, of our marriage. Exactly. You know, people don't understand it. People say, oh, you guys have good energy. You guys seem to get along really well. well right. it's, and, it's, what you, and one of the things I hear, what's your secret? Declaring the ecosystem approach. And they go, what? And by the way, it ain't a secret. It's not a secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ecosystem approach. Exactly. Exactly. And, and so, so in plain terms, when, when, and, and this is, I know this is hard to believe if you're listening right now, Benny, right. I know you, you're struggling with this, but if she gets mad at me, you know, it's almost always negative energy. It can't be me, you know, it's, it, it, and vice versa, you know, <laughs> but by, by clearing that negative energy that's between us. Well, and what happens is, is there, there comes, there comes when we do that clearing that negative energy between us. And by the way, we're human. We, we are not any different than anybody else. But the thing that is the most amazing is, is that when we clear it, we both go, oh, you, you meant this, or I didn't see that, or, yeah. oh, um, you know, wow, wait a minute, we need to, there's more negative energy here, let's get rid of it. And it's one of the most amazing things ever. You know, and I apologize to any couples therapists that are out there right now, but if you clear the energy, you don't right. need couples therapy. You don't need someone to tell you how right. to communicate. It you just you get to know the other person. Exactly. No one knows me better than her and vice versa. Right. And you know, it's you it's know it's been a great benefit. When I'm stuck in my feelings, when she's stuck in her feelings, yeah, it's not like she has to prod me to say, okay, what's going on? What's going on? You no. know, tell me, talk to me, blah, blah, blah. Well, and the other thing is, is usually I, she sees it first. I or do. I see it first. <laughs> and then we clear it. Exactly. And it's great. And then and we the talk way, about it. Everybody has feelings. I, I've had, of course, oftentimes more men than, than women say to me, I don't have any feelings. That's, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm going to be right here. And they, they're like righteous about it. But when you start clearing those, those negative energies, oh, then, then you're able then to, then the real self comes forward. You're able to talk awesome. about it and yes. communicate and all those things. So, so Jason, what are the key points of this segment? We search to find a way to make our abilities useful for people, for people in their life. Mm -hmm. Most of our connections with other psychics, um, clairvoyants were of little to no value and the predictions never panned out for us. Right. The ecosystem approach was created by implementing the ecosystem approach using intuition and clearing negative energy for us. Yes. For us. And then which we offer to you. Yes. And the ecosystem approach teaches you to work with your unique inner resources to help yourself. In the next segment, we're going to talk about experiences with other psychics and clients who want us to prove our abilities and how we've struggled to make this into a business that can be meaningful to us. This is the ecosystem approach show with Jason and Patricia. Um, by the way, it is also Dr. Pat's show, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Join the new earth on the Cornelia Stephanie show. Tune in each month as Cornelia takes listeners on an odyssey of higher consciousness to inspire, educate, and empower. Cornelia Stephanie is a spiritual teacher, passionate speaker, published author, and founder of the Empower Network. Cornelia guides people on the path of self-healing, peace, and liberation. For more information, go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Message delivery by Lisa Ann. You can't make this stuff up. Tune in every first and third Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Message Delivery is an inspirational show about the journey to enlightenment and spirituality. For more information or your own personal message delivery, visit AngelMessages2U.com. That's Angel Messages, the number two, the letter U, dot com. Healing has a ripple effect. One person's healing affects everyone around them. This is where the power of sharing our stories can be so important. Tune in to Playing on the Edge Radio with Megan Edge each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Megan provides you with ways of sustaining radical and powerful changes in your life. Enact the power of radical change. To find out more about Megan Edge, visit her website at meganedge.ca.
Hi, I'm Ambrosia. And I'm Alexa. And we, and we are the hosts of Inner Bloom Podcast. Podcast. A podcast about spirituality and intuitive development. Together, we utilize our intuitive gifts and our own personal life experiences to empower you to live an extraordinary life. Check us out and subscribe at innerbloompodcast.com. Are you ready to find out who you really are? Are you ready to have fun and listen to the soul part of yourself? Indulge in a deeper meaning with Laura Goldstein, host of Coffee with the Universe. This show will awaken that true self hidden deep within you and will get you energized on who you were created to be. So go ahead, grab your cup of joe and experience Coffee with the Universe with Laura Goldstein on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and today we're sitting in for Dr. Pat. Um, I once again, thank you, Dr. Pat. Um, in this segment, we're going to talk about experiences with other psychics and clients who want us to prove our abilities and how we've struggled to make this into a business uh, that can be meaningful to us. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason, we have lots of stories from having a booth at the New Age Expo. And, um, you know, tell them about, I don't know, let's start with this one, the best in show. There was, we, we went to, uh, we had, we, I think we rented a booth twice at yes. the New Age Expo in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And... Um, <clears throat> there was one guy who bought a booth in the in the main. It was, it was basically a more expensive booth right. in an area, and he and he called the booth best in show, mm -hmm. and he was charging it on just a huge amount of money. Yeah, and, and people were paying it, which was really amazing. Apparently, we don't we don't know exactly. Well, what, we knew know. one person that was <clears throat> yeah. because that one person came to us <laughs> and, and said, said, "God, you guys look like you you really got it together here." You, right, you know. But I spent all my money. I think it was like 600 bucks. It I was, think that's right. It was a huge amount of money yeah. with this guy who said he was the best in show. So, duh, if someone says, you know, it's, 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 it's where psychics, clairvoyance, mediums get a bad name. Right. And we've seen that there's sort of a kind of a negative underbelly because um, it was just marketing. It wasn't that he was the best in show. Right. He was just proclaiming he was best in right. show because most of us are, n are numb to our own intuition we right. c we can't tell the difference between someone who says they're really good and someone who is really good yes you know and um we always wanted to be of real help to others and and what we were naive about is um um the entertainment value people mm -hmm. come to us to be entertained well and, or and people come to psychics clairvoyance to be entertained to be entertained in a way yes they they want information but they want they want fanfare and oh, all of it i got know. those so i gotta tell you okay, okay. yeah i know what you're gonna say <laughs> we we had this booth and we were in the in the clairvoyance psychic aisle or whatever and and um we had i think we had polo shirts and we 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 you know, this we, is me. Yeah. I'm, 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 you know, my daughter used to call me white bread. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very conservative looking. I don't look like quote unquote a psychic. Well, there's another story right there. You know, there was this one client we had who was, who we were worked with for a while. And, you know, most of our clients all, all over the country, all over the world. Right. So um, we went, went to, it was, um, we lived in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area. And we, we went to Minnesota and to, to visit and we saw some of the clients that we had there. Right. And she was talking about us for, for months to her, her teenage son. Right. And we met and he was, you could see his mouth was open. <laughs> he expected a beard, 
maybe an earring, you know, a swami a, hat, a swami hat, and a robe. Yes. And he was so disappointed that and, I look like this. And and Jason said to him, "I'm, you know, I'm sorry, I don't even have an earring." <laughs> and and he goes, "I know, <laughs> you know." And yet and yet he he really he, he he really took to Jason quite a bit, which was you know very nice. And he was a good kid. Well, he was, and it's it was based on this perception of what they think a psychic or medium, medium clairvoyant supposed to you know look that like. there's some yeah. sort of foreign right you know right. i'm sure if we had a foreign name it would have helped our marketing yeah that could then. have been yes, yes you know but here's the other thing okay it when we went to the new age expo we started to understand the competition between oh, in this realm huge because it's not it about people being able to see who's the best so what they have to do, it's basically marketing to get who's the best. Right. And and the the in that marketing, it's who's the loudest, who's dressed the most bizarre, who um makes not, the biggest claims, makes best the biggest, in show. But they're not looking for something. Um, they're not looking for what's in their best interest. Exactly. They're looking for the show. When when we first went into the to the quarter we were getting set up yes. in the booth yes there was this one woman she dressed up as a gypsy what do you what do you call those things uh, they're uh, um finger symbols finger and, and she was going oh clang 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 yeah, clang and, and and you know i was like oh my gosh what's going on here you know and I'd seen are we in the right place yeah. <laughs> you know and uh, i don't know if she's any good i don't either but she certainly made a big statement right. and you know um here's the thing and we also had a lot of clients. We've been doing this for 20 years. Right. You know, full time for 20 years, clients all over the world. You know, I know that our abilities are really good, but yes. it's not our intuition that I think is the most most important. But we would have people come to us with a sort of a prove it attitude. Yeah. You know, we're, you know we want you to prove it. Right. That you, that you have this ability. And we don't, we don't look it's it's based on a misconception about what intuition is. Correct. Because when you when you see something, you see energy and then you interpret it. That interpretation is what's the what's That's the what most, really matters. That's what really matters. Yes. And that interpretation requires what we call evolved consciousness. Right. And that's a connection with your essence, removing that negative energy that which which we do mm -hmm. constantly, consistently right. and specifically. Well, and, and you know, I, I, I just want to say this that that evolved consciousness huge you know one of the things people ask me to do a lot is well tell me about the future tell me about now don't get me wrong there's things i can see of course trends trends that's that's listen a, to our last show it was about yes, the, it's about the, the future ex yeah. exactly but the thing that if you want to do what's in your best interest and i'm talking is if you're the client is if there's something that comes up such as a premonition what are the energies around that premonition? Exactly. So you can what clear them. So you can remove them. Yes. People come to us because they want to game life mm -hmm. instead of living it. Well, and you, the way you do that is by removing negative energies or the blocks that are in your way, right. and then live it. Well, okay. I have another story. Okay. If you don't mind. Yeah. Um, there was a client who stuck with us for quite a few years, and one of the things that she wanted more than anything is she wanted me to tell her what signs to look for oh yeah and these signs to look for i i was working with her at one time and and orion and pegasus popped in at the same time into my consciousness and so i said something to her about it i said i don't really know what it means but orion you know the star system and then pegasus um okay and from what i understand they're like closely related possibly in the sky or it's i'm not exactly sure but she went for years looking for those signs but then calling me or texting me and saying i'm not seeing anything about pegasus or or orion and and the point i'm trying to get at is that you need to remove your negative energies so that when things like orion and pegasus pop in you will have some idea. You can some interpret knowing them it. yourself. Yes. And exactly. we can help you with that sometimes. Right. Okay. But the truth is, it's not about the signs outside of you. Exactly. It's about the energy inside. Right. And clearing right, right, the right. blocks to your right. essence so you can go in the world and interpret all the information that you get, whether it's through intuition or just through the physical dimension. Exactly. And, and make the best life for you. Well, and I, I, you have you have one other one other story in this segment oh. about the guy 
um, who warned you about his energy? Well, he, he came, he was another, another psychic and I was working with a member of his family and um, we, we've, we've worked with a lot of other psychics over the years. Yes. And, but he came to us. This is about the competition in, the, yes. in this, in this, in this field. He came to us and he told me, well, I'm not sure I want you to work on me because I've got this negative energy attached to me. That's so high level. Right. I don't want it to you know, rub off on you and, yeah. and, and, and hurt you. And, and so, so, and I just kind of blew that off because I saw that he was a three on the Enneagram, which is, is the he, showman, the showman, the arrogant um, he, form of arrogance. That's where he's, he feels, he feels comfortable. Yes. And they can uh, be blustery, blustery. And it wasn't that he had this high level energy. It was that he wanted to feel special about his abilities. Yes. And he wanted to, to impress me with that, even though he was coming to me to help him. Exactly. You know, the truth is that, that he, um, um, I saw that his frame about how he saw the world that was not was off and that when he helped clients because he was he was a working um, psychic yeah. yes. and and he was working with a lot of clients what he was telling clients couldn't have been very r right on because his frame was was, was skewed a, a skewed yes mm -hmm. you know p when people come to us right they always want to know who's better Oh, between he and I, yeah. it's hilarious. Yes. Jason and I just smile at each other. You know, you know, and it's 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 really the wrong question. I mean, we work together. Again, I like the big picture. Yes. She sees the she details, the colors. Details. I could I can even smell and taste things. Yes. It's, I mean, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And as we continue with the ecosystem approach, we keep clearing the negative energy that's attached to us which creates evolved consciousness and really supercharges our intuition. Exactly. As good as we are now, we're going to be even better five years from now, 10 years from now, and 20 years from now. And we're hoping the same for all of you. Exactly. That's what, you know, when, when, it, if this isn't about you coming to us to be the guru, we about, want you to do right. well, for yourself. And so now is the perfect time to commit to doing the ecosystem approach. Exactly. All right. So you know, we want people to do it for yourself as yes. opposed to, you know, and we help you, we, we want to help you. And this is what we finally came to help people un, unmask, uncover. We say this every time it's about un, human beings need to be uncovered instead of programmed to uncover your abilities. Right. Because yeah. everybody has them. Yes. And we'll help you with that. Right. But we don't want to be the flashlight in the dark for you. We want to have, we want to teach you to have your own flashlight. Exactly. So um, Jason, what are the key points of this segment? We saw firsthand that jealousy and very different approaches to the energy realm. Yes. Um, we didn't see the benefits of other practitioners and we questioned how they were really helping. Mm -hmm. And those who were sincere used approaches that were programming, which is part of the pro pro problem. It is major you know? part. And the ecosystem approach teaches you how to identify the energies and feelings that block you from um, having all of your abilities. Exactly. In the next segment, we're going to talk about intuition in the age of Aquarius and how you can use it for your life that is practical. By the way, we're all about being practical. So um, use for your life, being practical um, and useful and beneficial, but also having the most powerful thing you can ever do for yourself. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia sitting in for Dr. Pat, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, everyone. I'm the host of Nothing But Now, Mindful Living with Dr. Mary Angela McGuire on Transformation Talk Radio. I share ideas, insights, and tools you can use to release yourself from fearful and negative thinking and live from a place of clarity and confidence. Please join me in each show where we challenge ourselves to change together. Please go to my website, mcguirelifecoach.com. That's mcguirelifecoach.com. See you next time. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show, talk radio to thrive by. I am so thrilled to be talking to all of you. We have got talk radio for all of us. Are you ready and willing and able to accept all of the abundance you can muster up in your life? Yeah. 
Check us out at drpatcho.com, transformationtalkradio.com, transformationradio.fm. Oh, my goodness. A word of caution. If you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens with Colette Marie Steffen is excited to welcome Karen Benton as a monthly guest host. Tune in on the third Wednesday of each month at 8 a.m. Pacific time to regain confidence and trust in your capacity to create change in your life, your health, your family, and your well-being. Karen Benton is a mother, nurse practitioner, certified body talk practitioner, Franklin Method instructor, and owner of Limitless Living LLC. For more information about Karen, visit KarenBenton.com. The vibration of change, that magical place where life shifts from struggle to ease, from stagnation to forward movement, from old ways of being to new ways of becoming. If you're like I am, it can be rather elusive to get there, but when you are in it, you feel it down to your very core, don't you? And it can positively affect everything in your life, from your relationships to your health and well-being, from your career path to your abundance. From the quality of that inner connection to the fullness of your self-expression. On the Christine Upchurch Show, we explore ways to get into that vibration of change with experts in the fields of consciousness, psychology, spirituality, health, healing, and science. Join me, Christine Upchurch, every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on KKNW AM 1150 and Transformation Talk Radio and learn new ways to step into your vibration of change. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. That would be me. Um, We are sitting in for Dr. Pat today, and thank you for that opportunity. In this segment, we're going to talk about the intuition in the age of Aquarius. How are you going to use it for your life that is practical, useful, beneficial, but also um, one of the most powerful things you can do for yourself? We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason, I am, I really love this subject here. Um, I'm really excited to talk about the intuition of the age of Aquarius. But can you explain again what the age of Aquarius is to the audience so it's an energy age that affects everything that creates and it creates a path for individual empowerment Mm. democratic ideals um, new ideas and thinking and technological advancement i love it so it doesn't happen automatically it's an energy it's a it's a kind of a it pushes people in that direction but it doesn't doesn't make it happen necessarily and what i see is that intuition will be used and elevated to a new position of respect but not by being just an intuitive, but by it infusing intuition and what we call evolved consciousness into every, everything, everything, every, every um, vocation, every um, okay. um, discipline of learning, every mm-hmm. discipline. Um, and we're going to talk about that, you know, and we see that this is, this is the missing piece is that the ecosystem approach is a holistic approach. Yeah. See, and we talked about that. We, you know, we see that intuition is valuable. It's a flashlight in the dark. Right. And we're using our intuition. Oh, by the way, the, I think one of the greatest things that, that we've done with intuition is discovery. Oh, yeah. And if you go to our website, theecosystemapproach.org, and um, you sign into our free section, uh, in the about section, there's a, a thing about the discovery. Right. We did two shows on it. I wrote an article about it. And it's, it's what we see which is the missing piece for most self-help right. is that people don't see that they have this negative energy that's attached to them. That's covering them up. That's blocking 
so many things. Well, I was just talking to uh, one of the producers about the creativity that I've gained since I've started doing the ecosystem approach. And that creativity comes from removing those negative, exactly. that negative energy. Exactly. You know, it's, exactly. it's really a big deal. And mm-hmm. so if you, you're using a self-help, this is, you know, this is this time of year, yeah. beginning of the year, everybody's oh, yeah. saying new year's resolutions and all that stuff. Yeah. If you're using any sort of self-help that's not removing the negative energy that's in your way, it's, it's like, it's like spinning your wheels. It's like going in circles. Right. It's when my dog chases its tail, it doesn't get any place, <laughs> yeah. you know? And that's why the ecosystem approach is such a amazing things, but it's the thing, but it's not about the intuition itself. No, it's, it's, it's a about, holistic approach. Exactly. And, and um, the most, some of the most amazing things, one of the things I hear the most when I'm working with clients is, Thank you, Patricia. I feel lighter right now. Yes, I, I believe I have clarity about uh, what um, the questions I've been asking. Those things. Their judgment gets better. Oh, their wisdom gets better. Their ability to implement mm-hmm. what That's they know amazing. is true. Yes, you know, That's a lot true. of people say, "I know I'm struggling with this, but I just can't." I don't I know what to do no. about it. Yeah. Well, and and you know, I always, I oftentimes will use the weight loss thing, but the bottom line is, is that. If you're struggling with the addiction to sugar, one of the first things I would clear is, by the way, I do for myself, is my, 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 the self-sabotage patterns that I have that are connected to sugar. If you can't say no in your life or any other thing that you're struggling with. Or want, somebody's running over the top of you. Right. You know, yeah, oh. I, I heard there was a, a, a TV doctor was saying last year that she, she chose her new year's resolution was to be more mindful. Okay. And, and I always, you know, I yell at the, the TV a lot, <laughs> you know, mindfulness um, helps, does help ground you, does have a benefit. Yes. But unless you're removing the negative energy um, that's attached to you, mm-hmm. you're not able to go forward. You're just going to be more calm about it. Right. You, you know, you're going to be more <laughs> calm about your dysfunction, you know? Um, and if you, I know that sounds like a real irony. <laughs> yeah. And to me to be calm about, okay. <laughs> but it, it, it really, it really doesn't work. So, mm-hmm. so, um, you know, programming, which is, which is just do it, ignore your emotions, yes. just drive through discredits the non-physical dimension where that's all, that's where all the problems are we have in the world. Mm. You know, we could implement any sort of solution if it wasn't for our emotions, if we could come together and work together as a group, could could we be discussing be? Um, um, someone that's in the White House that politics. has less than ten days? Yes, to <laughs> politics, all those things, they all come together yes. when we remove the negative energy that blocks us from doing it as, it, as a group, exactly in a, in a exactly. positive way. It's it's and you know what's what's amazing is to get a large group of people together to do the clearing the ecosystem approach. Man, I mean, you see some things that are just things happen. Amazing, but the most important place to start is always with yourself. With yourself, exactly. You know, and um, so I want to go through and talk about how I, how you know, this is just trends. It's not the okay. f- predicting the future. Okay, but these different areas. But um, it's not just the intuition, and that's the po- most important part. Exactly. It's evolved. Right. What we call evolved consciousness, and how you get that is removing negative energy from your essence so by that, using the ecosystem approach. Exactly. Yes. So health, all health dysfunction starts with the essence. Yes. So if you start removing the blocks, you know your essence is giving. If you have a health condition, your essence is giving you a, a, a messages. Message. There, your essence is talking to you. You know, I, I I'm going to jump in and say, um, anyone who's listened to the show, um, or who hasn't. Um, a few years ago, um, I ended up uh, having to have my heart valve replaced. And we had been working on the energies of the broken heart that I had because um, I was not treated the same as the rest of my mother's children. And, and it broke my heart. And what, what happened was is that it refocused us on this particular issue. Yes. We cleared our way through. Absolutely. And, and it, by the way, Yep. Yep. It's, you know, she's doing I'm really big and well. Strong. Yes, yes, absolutely. So relationships, yes. You know, whether they're global, whether they're just with your spouse, whether with your okay. kids, yeah. um, um, with your boss, all relationship difficulties come from negative energies. Well, and how about the relationship that people don't have with the earth? Exactly. Meaning they don't understand what the earth needs. Exactly. So when you clear away the negative energies, the motives are revealed and yeah, 
there is negative energy and evil in the world. Yes, there that is. That will be revealed too. So if and, you're and you can clear, you can clear, you can get rid of using the ecosystem approach. It does take time, but you can see that coming and not have to deal with it. The stuff that's not good will be identified and you yes. can step around it or yes. deal with it. Leadership. Mm. What we see clearly is that it's the people who say that they're the best in show, right. the ones who are saying, hey, look at me, I'm the best, are not the best. Are not the best. And um, that, Well, that's kind of the same in the government. It, it really changes with the ecosystem approach because what happens is you see other people. Not only do you see your motives first, right. that's what you uncover first. Right. And then you see that the best among us are not rising to the top. Exactly. Government, diplomacy, and foreign country interactions, I can see – using the ecosystem approach for diplomacy and intuition oh, yeah. in amazing ways. Yes, yes, yes. The yes, ecology yes. of the planet. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Um, it'll be accepted that we need to help each other, yes. that we need that, that even though you're in a different country, but you're upstream from this country, yeah. that that pollution is going to affect this other country exactly. that we're all together, that, you know, we'll be able to not only see what the problem is, mm-hmm. but agree on the, on the way to, to, to solve it. Okay. And then technological, Technology and innovation um, will know how to use technology in a way that supports humanity as opposed to um, brings it down. Okay. You know, okay. here's the other thing. Okay. If you go to our website, the ecosystemapproach.org, okay. I wrote a couple articles. Um, one is about the gap between science and religion. Okay. And I think you'll find that fascinating. Again, this comes from not only just my intuition, it comes from evolved consciousness. And I can say it comes from, from the heart of who you are. Yes. So, um, the gap between science and religion. There's another article about natural leadership, how people are right now are not attracted to leaders based on accurate assessment of their own evolution, the, their, the other person's evolution. Right. I mean, if we could see other people's evolution and then choose our leaders to who are the, the, the most evolved among us, it would change the world, but we're not choosing those kind of leaders. No. You know, not at all. I'm, I'm sorry to say that. So um, are we ready for key points? Yes, And let's then do we'll that. tell everybody how to clear. clear. Yes. So key points, Jason. There is a strong energy to promote the use of intuition um, for a greater position of respect with the age of Aquarius. Okay. The true use of intuition will be holistic and part of evolved consciousness and total evolution for individuals and the world um, as a whole. And the age of Aquarius does not happen automatically. It requires evolved individuals to implement it. So get started today, everybody. Get started today. And yes. the ecosystem approach teaches you to use your intuition in an evolved, holistic way for your overall benefit. Exactly. So, Jason, uh, real quick, let's tell them how to clear. So, again, it's not intuition that's the most important. It's just clearing the negative blocks yes. first. So what negative you do, energies. You, can, you, can, you can sit up straight. You don't have to be reverent. You can slouch. You can stand. You can lay down. Right. And you get as when we say when we say to eliminate, gather that up in your mind's eye. Use it. Use your imagination. Just gather up and blow it into a trash can. Or we use a processor. The processor right we there. We created that on the in the non physical dimension. The the negative energy goes in the top. It gets processed and then it comes, it comes out, out neutral. Neutral. And then after that, we're going to activate life force energy and life force. You're going to pull in. You're going to call upon it. It's going to come in, go in through the top of your head, all the way down your body. You're going to stop it at your toes. You're going to turn it around and use all the positive energy that you have left, which you do, and blow up any negative energy and put it right there into the processor. Stay tuned when we come back. We're going to show you how to start to have an evolved consciousness that creates greater intuition for you. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show, sitting in for Dr. Pat today, and we are Jason and Patricia. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Are you ready to awaken to your divine and true potential? Tune in to a Spirited Exchange Radio with me, Carrie Kadambi, every second and fourth Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. We discuss the evolution of the modern mind and how the power of awakening, healing, and connecting allows us to step into living a life of love in action. For more information about me, visit the TheDivineGuidanceGift.com. Did you know that when we talk about the Earth's ecosystems, the most important ecosystem has been left out. 
you. We created the ecosystem approach to recapture human potential. Find us at theecosystemapproach.org. Join us every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and 4 p.m. Eastern Time for the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia on TransformationTalkRadio.com. The Coach Peggy Show. All things wellness with Coach Peggy Wilms. Tune in live every first and third Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you settling? No more. Coach Peggy takes on all things wellness. We go way beyond nutrition and fitness. The Coach Peggy Show is not afraid to be bold, badass, and it's never half in. For more information, visit allthingswellness.com. We remember a time when you could simply form a thought and it would manifest. The harmony was forgotten, but it is returning now. The power of inspiration and awakening radio with Julia Griffin on TransformationTalkRadio.com each second and fourth Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific will take you on adventures through the heart and spirit exploring who we once were. This intuitive healer studied under the guidance of wolves, learning from their wisdom to master a higher frequency for a new state of mind. Visit OneTrueSelf.com. You know, marriage is not always easy, but skills that improve communication go a long way. Tune in to The Relationship Rehab Show, Recovering Happiness in Your Love with Nancy Landrum and Dr. Pat each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Nancy is an author and teacher empowering couples to create and sustain loving marriages. Learn to listen, speak, and handle conflict with respect so your love can flourish. To learn more about Nancy and her work, visit NancyLandrum.com. Learn how to lead a happier life on Miles to Go with Brittany Miles. How to lose to gain it all. Join Brittany every second and fourth Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Listen as coach and healer Brittany Miles shares stories that teach you about surrender. For more information about Brittany, MilesToGoCoaching.com. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. We're sitting in for Dr. Pat today. In this segment, we're going to show you how to start to have evolved consciousness that creates greater intuition for you. You ready to get started, Jason? Here we go. All right. I direct all my resources and all dimensions to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that intuition is not the most important. It's evolved consciousness. And how do you get evolved consciousness, Jason? There you go. So gather up the veils and illusions. And then throw them in the processor or a trash can, whichever one you you choose. It's it's fine. So, um, and moving right along. And to eliminate um, the barrier so I can always focus on how intuition can benefit me. Take a breath. And to eliminate the anger, rage, hate, and bitterness that keeps me focused away from my essence oh, sure. and on the world in general. Take and, a and, and to eliminate the programming that's attached yes, to that. There exactly. you go. Take a breath and blow it out. And to eliminate my fear of trusting myself um, and going to others for help when my essence already knows and always knows. Take a breath. Your essence is the best mentor you could ever have. So here we go. And to eliminate the barriers so I can see the answers for my life come from within myself, Mm -hmm. connected to my essence. Love it. Love it. Take a breath. And to eliminate the barriers so I can see um, that there is a lot of negative energy blocking me right now. I release and let go all of that negative energy. Nice and easy. Put that negative energy in that processor back there or in a garbage can. Take a breath. And blow it out. And to eliminate the false belief that others can help me even if I don't help myself and remove that my, uh, my own bad energy. Mm, take a breath. Gather up that false belief. Right back there. Um, and to eliminate the negative feelings like bitterness, anger, loneliness that block my intuition and my evolution. 
I don't need this energy because the truth is my essence is everything that I need and want. Take a breath. Nice and easy. Blow out any negative energy. <sighs> negative energies are negative feelings as well. Anger, hate, bitterness, those things. Take a breath. One more. So and to eliminate that hurt, loneliness, and feeling abandoned that blocks my essence and information from my essence. Okay. Take a breath. Here's a really good one. Go ahead, Jason. And to eliminate my expectations that other experts can fix me, um, but I'm not a machine and I have the tools within myself. Yes. Take a nice breath and blow it out. So now we're going to activate life force energy. Life force energy is the most powerful energy that any of us has access to. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to call upon it and let it go right through our body, stop at the tips of our toes, turn it around, and let that the power of that energy get rid of more negative energy. So here we and, go. And to activate life force so I can have hope for a better way for me by removing the negative energy that's blocking me. Take a breath, nice and easy. Pull it in. Tips of your toes and blow out any negative energy left over. And to activate life force so I can trust that I can work with energy for my own evolution. It's true, everyone. It's true. Take a nice breath. Easy. In through the top of your head. Let it go all the way down. Stop it. Turn it around. I have another one and to activate life force so I can use life force energy to, to um, remove the, the negative energies around my heart, around my heart that's keeping me from connecting with myself and knowing that my essence matters. Take a breath. And to activate life force so I can have the determination to start working on my essence using the ecosystem approach. Take a breath. Easy. We'll tell you how to do that in just a minute. Okay. And to activate life force so I can be happy and healthy, have laughter and love and joy and fun and um, objectivity and creativity. By the way, I started painting because I started using creativity. It was amazing. I've called it to me. Um, let's see. Um, financial stability and um, health. Health. Great. Having better great, relationships. Great health and be better relationships. Everyone take a breath. Let that come in. Let it go all the way down. No overwhelm. We don't need the overwhelm. Just let it go to the tips of your toes. Stop it right there. Turn any negative energies around and blow them into the processor. Jason. We have a show on Monday. What are we going to talk about next week? We're going to talk about time travel. Oh, and this time is travel. for real healing. Now, this sounds, you know, usually we try and everything we do is very practical that can help you mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. um, um, to, to start um, a trend that's positive for yourself. Okay. But we're going to, uh, time travel is not an airy-fairy thing. We're going to teach you how to how to work with it in a practical yeah, way yeah. that can heal um, physical things, relationship things, all sorts of things, just right. well-being, right? just helping you with the well-being okay. and show you how to do that. Okay. So then, um, so join us everyone for that. Um, actually, that's on Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern time right here on Transformation Talk Radio. Exactly. Jason, why is the ecosystem approach so important to me? So if you're listening right now, and you got a little nudge, you got to like, oh yeah, yeah. these mm -hmm. guys get it. I, you know, I've been to psychics and clairvoyance and it doesn't really seem to work for me. It hasn't seemed to work. And I really want to move forward in my life. Okay. 2021 is the time for me to do that. We've set it up so you can start and try this out and do it all for free. All you have to do is listen to our show every week. Okay. Um, go to our website, theecosystemapproach.org, okay. and um, sign up for our free section. Those articles that I told you about, you can read them there. Okay. And um, it also gives you a weekly um, newsletter where we have clearings. Right, so don't forget to check the box, right? And, and do the clearings every week. Oh, yeah. And you're going to start doing the ecosystem approach just by doing that. And um, um, if you want to see this, we, we do this Facebook Live. Yes. So if you want to see the video of this, go to our website on Facebook, which is 
um, theecosystemapproach.org, and you can get us there. Mm -hmm. If you um, you have comments, questions, you have a, a, a um, suggestion for a show. Right. We'd, we'd love to hear from you. Um, at hello at theecosystemapproach.org. Okay. And um, um, if, if, this is, if this is talking to you right now, mm -hmm. You're the you're one of the people that we want to work with. Absolutely, we want to not be your guru, but to show you how to do this um, in a way that is helpful to you. And don't forget our Facebook page at theecosystemapproach.org as well. He likes to be liked, so yes, you know, please like me. So. All right, we'll connect next week, Monday at one p.m. Pacific and four p.m. Eastern time. This is Transformation Talk Radio. You're listening to the Ecosystem Approach with Jason and Patricia. This is Dr. Pat's show. Thank you, Dr. Pat. Remember, your ecosystem is the most important one in the world. Views expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers, and do not necessarily reflect the views of the station, its management, or advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio.